Am I able to make Galactus work in this meta or in any meta? That's what I'm going to try to do today. They have Galactus balanced at five power. That means he is extremely difficult to pull off. You have some two cost cards that are at five power. You have three cost cards that are at five power. You have energy cheat that is in the game so people can play higher cost cards earlier and those higher cost cards have more power. It is super difficult to pull off Galactus, but that's what I'm gonna try to do. So for this version, I'm leaning into more of a control heavy style build. I have Jean Grey. Ideally, I want to fill up her lane and ideally the opponent isn't playing much into the other lanes. And then I can end with Sandman and then it is just a very easy Galactus play. Or I can end with a Nimrod and if I have Ghost Spider, I can pull it away and double destroy. Or it, I can just play my destroy cards without Ghost Spider and do the double destroy thing. That is the other play line we have in this deck. There is yeah. to circumvent the Jean Grey restriction. You don't have to play him onto Jean Grey or you play him before Jean Grey into the lane you're planning to play her into. And then you can move him later for some amount of flexibility. And then there's also Sean because we have a lot of these big power cards running around right now. And Shang Shi can just take care of it. You are kind of in control of where they can play. If they're playing larger cards, it's probably going to be in the Jean Grey lane. And so you just have an easy path to victory there. Okay, first up we have Big Spider. Gary. I actually have a very good line with Jean Grey, Shuri, Nimrod, and Galactus. We are up against, and I also have Sandman. We are up against a Arisham player. I can snap into this. I will play Jean Grey onto Krakoa. I would have loved to have an early game, which I just do not. Oh, I actually won't be able to roll. Okay. Loki it is. So let's see what the uh, seven power venom. <laughs> they are snapping me back. I'm not going to take priority either. So they might be able to just get off a Oh, they actually can't get off a of Galactus now, then. Unless they have... No, even Jeff won't do that. What's the... What's the play here? Why play my Sandman? You're stuck to one card. I'm stuck to one card. We both have to play left. This deck does not have a Lia. Maybe they have an Lia. They have a Blob. Okay. So maybe... They have an Alaya now? Uh, let's see. Maybe I yank... I yank Venom middle. They can't pull off a Galactus because I'll get two Nimrods. And then a Nico here and a Nightcrawler here and call it a day. Ah. Okay, what do they roll? Oh, six? Is that enough? Three, four, five, six, seven? <laughs> oh, but I've but I've actually uh Oh, that would have been enough to win left. Am I about to throw this? You are a loser. Come on, Nightcrawler. There we go. <laughs> they Valkyried their blob. What a unique play. So I don't know if there's anything to break down this. I, I th like to think I played it out correctly without the benefit of hindsight, but also when you play higher level players, they fully expect the Galactus. And so me going into Conquest is to try to find lower level players. <laughs> have a little bit more success. Like and subscribe. Okay, we have a good starting, good starting hand with yeah. into Jean Grey. So we will see, and Sean. 
So they play Daredevil left. I think I will play yeah. middle. I am tempted to play yeah. right because yeah, they're they're a little bit more of a safer player. So okay, that's fine. Yeah. This is left. So that is where I will be playing Jean Grey. It will probably just be Nico. It will definitely not be Nico. <laughs> it will be Shuri. Right on time. Fantastic. They keep drawing their Cosmo in a Arishim deck. That is uh, very fortunate. Uh, I think I still do Nimrod in the hopes that I draw into Ghost Spider. So if I draw into Ghost Spider, then it's Venom and Carnage. Okay. I draw into Ghost Spider. I can't move Jeff first or Jean Grey is going to force me to play into her lane. So instead, I play Ghost Spider first. Now I can move. Yeah. Now I, I think I just focus on two lanes. So I'm going to play Venom here, Carnage here. I always lose middle and we see if we can't pull this out. Okay, so I win left. Oh, is that enough? I'm I'm not doing the math. <laughs> so we will we will find out together if that is enough. I think that's enough. Yes, it's definitely you enough. So I'm not sure. I think we would have won either way. Because I would have just played the Venom middle instead. And we would have thrown right in, instead of middle. And there you go. So we showed a couple of different play lines. Jean Grey is might be the star of this deck, honestly, even though I'm trying to showcase Galactus. But her control aspect combined with Sandman is very powerful. But into Erisham decks, you you have like a 1% chance of being able to pull off Galactus because you can see they have way more than five power in every single lane, and they can easily do that. So against Arishem, it will be very difficult to pull off Galactus unless you can get the Jean Grey lane filled, and the last card you, card you play is Sandman, and they have one open spot here. And then you better hope they don't have a Jeff or something, uh, and then that could also mess you up. But we were able to win in the silver conquest i think this was match two out of two i was tooling around with a different deck in round one and a good start to this video so one thing i noticed you could also do is click on you saw i had to be quick because this conquest run was over but you can click on the player and you can see their highest rank achieved and their collection level there you go you learned something new Okay, next up we have Massey. Uh, I don't want to play the Nico just yet. I will definitely play yeah. Jeff next turn. They are an whatever deck this is. Uh, Arishim. I play Jeff into the unknown. I if I draw into Jean Grey. I don't want I want them to play their big cards outside of Wakanda. So this is the other thing that problem this deck runs into. You can draw what you want to, but the locations will just hose you. So unfortunately, that is what we, we are up against. So I'm gonna play Jean Grey middle, matter of fact. I'm going to have to draw into my game plan. Wind and now it doesn't even matter. Hand.
and I actually drew into my game plan. What I wanted to do is Shuri, Nimrod, move yeah. middle, and then I fill middle, and then I can, with Ghost Spider, pull to the lane that is smaller, and then I can uh, Venom or Carnage. But uh, they are robbing me of that. So, so get Ghost Spider down and Nico. I'm just going to have to win Tiebreaker. Or not even now. I'm just going to have to win middle. And they were the next two cards. Boy, that was lined up. And this is the Arisham Storm. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. So this, this just went as poorly as it goes. I'm leaving this in here to show how the locations can hose you. Random card generation for, from Arishim can hose you. It just is a rough time because we drew the cards we needed to pull off what we wanted to. And the locations and then Storm just nuked us. So for that, they snap. We leave for one. And that's a lot of what this deck is. And so you can strike and snap very confidently and aggressively. Okay, we're up against Pro Tip. And our first location, our opening hand is mighty good. They are an Arishem deck. But with Shuri and Nimrod, I definitely don't want to burn a card. Their deck is mighty large. I don't need to help thin it. Oh man, Jean Grey. That would have been a very nice play. Uh, I think I still stay the course like this. I could play out the Nico now. Nah, we'll hold with the Hercules play. Sebastian Shaw. And then I'm going to... Shuri into Nimrod, and if by some miracle we have priority going into the last turn and I'm able to draw into Galactus, that's definitely what I'll be doing. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, we drew in a Ghost Spider. So that can yoink... I can yoink the cards, and maybe that's what I do anyway? Question mark. Unfortunately, I don't have the luxury to play Carnage into Crimson Cosmos, so I'll stay through this snap. Okay, we are not going to have priority. So I can't move middle or it will bounce. So, I mean, it would bounce to Xandar. So maybe that's what I do. Maybe I do this really weird play of Nightcrawler here, Jeff here, so Jeff yeah. sticks. Oh, I don't have enough power then. Full Nimrod. And play Sean? 6-7? But then I'm throwing... <sighs> oh, no, no, no. I'm not throwing Xandar, because that's where... That's where Nightcrawler's gonna move. So Nightcrawler moves there first. Oh, let me... Let me play Nico then here as well. And then Sean, this is really funky. Okay, so we get this small amount of... Okay, perfect. We threw the right, the correct lane. Now, let's see if they can get enough points middle. Ooh, that's steep. That is steep. And we... 
by the skin of our teeth did not pull we did pull it off <laughs> i forgot about nico i knew nico was there they forgot about her boy i should have snapped into that it was very tempting they have the created by Arisham. boy they don't even have them they might have mystique in their deck uh this is a fantastic win though a uh, very creative very creative play uh, that that you kind of need to keep in mind with the ghost spider and the Nico and uh, you can get some very, you can get very creative okay next round we are against an Arishem deck I want to change I want to change mindscape Nico gives us that ability so I will take advantage of that they know I have Sean, so I still hold firm. The next card I play has got to be into Mindscape. Now, I can't Sean every lane is the only problem. I think I play Nightcrawler out. I can always move him later. And then I play Shuri and Nimrod. Probably left. That is funny. So nobody gets the Asgard bonus. <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, I wonder if I can maintain priority. I might slide the Nightcrawler over to try to maintain priority. Let's see what, what they're up to. Loki, okay. And Sandman. So if they get my Sandman, they could Sandman me right back. I do have my double destroy line. I'm afraid to snap, though, because they got six of my cards. If they decide to play Sandman, I might be in a little trouble. Uh, I think Ghost Spider would be our best pull. That way I could double destroy. Opponent snapped. Okay, they're snapping into this. I will, I will stick it out. So they may do a destroy now. They may have Sean. Oh, Jean Grey. So I definitely... <laughs> God, look at that luck. She's the one and only ghost when okay, so pull that there. Uh, let's see. So that moves it back here. And then I need to destroy. So do I just do... I think I do Carnage instead to try to spread out this power. That middle, and then eat over here. So this is kind of a win all three lanes and see if they can do it. Maybe, I think I move Nightcrawler. Let me move Nightcrawler over. Move Nightcrawler. Then play Carnage and Venom in case they alieth me in the Jean Grey lane. Okay, but does that win middle? That does not win middle. Fantastic. Yeah, they seemed pretty confident, which is the only reason I snapped them the last turn. I typically don't do that. But the fact that we drew into exactly what we needed to, we clearly spread out all of our power. So they basically had to pick what lane they wanted to win with Blob. So, and uh, some good manners. So this is just a good, straightforward, double destroy win with Ghost Spider. This is why I love Ghost Spider in these decks. And we took down an Arishem deck. Okay, next up we have Titanium Farmer. Far Sinister. That's a very good location for Venom. They are a normal deck. I could also play Nightcrawler there. Ala and Galactus. Uh, I'm fine staying through. I have Sean in hand, which is a good tech card. I don't want to squander this potential opportunity for Galactus. Oh, this might be a Green Goblin snap. And they have priority. 
So I play the Nightcrawler now. Give me a space. That way I can play Carnage if I draw into him. And Bifrost sadly won't move the cards into Hala. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Okay, so is this Destroyer or is this Galactus? Because I can only stop Galactus from going off in one spot. Uh, I will. Pl I'll just play the Shuri mid. See what they do. Okay. So they could play. They could play a uh, not a Lyoth. Yes, a Lyoth. They could play a Lyoth now. So let's see. Sandman almost assuredly takes priority. Well, maybe not. I'll play Sandman and see what they have. Interesting. So I don't have priority. So Nico is worth four. So instead of Jeff, let's let's see what they're up to. If they have Sean that doesn't win. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that Galactus gameplay. <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, uh, it wasn't my Galactus, but we did get to see some Galactus gameplay. <laughs> there isn't much to break down. I I kind of guessed that they were going to play into Hala just so they could potentially destroy any card that I played. But then once they used Elia on turn five and then used Venom afterwards, that means they couldn't Absorbing Man. Unless they had a Cosmo or something, but that seems unlikely. So, yeah, once they played the Elias, and I'm not sure why they did, because my card was getting doubled, so why not save it for the last turn? But uh, I, I will take it. So we, we got a win when Galactus was used. Okay, we have Taylor Swift's biggest fan. Let's see if we can get a Galactus off. We have Jeff, Jean Grey, Ghost Spider and Carnage. That's a good collection of cards. They are an Erisham deck. The Vault. We have Sandman. I don't think I want to fill my hand with Jins is the problem. So maybe I do one and just kind of see See how this goes, see what they played here. Uh, just a single point Deadpool. And Hala, and we do have Galactus. Jean Grey. And if I play the Jin now, and then Sandman? How's this gonna work? Am I am I doing this right? Gray, yeah. Jin, yes. And then I can Sand Man. Jin. Is it more likely they play into the vault? Or Hala? I think it's more likely they play into Vault. But I don't have anything to after the Galactus play, so I'm just based on that. I'm I'm gonna leave the vault open, and let's see. Let's see what they do. 
So they do play one card into the vault. Is this their big card? Oh. And this is why Galactus is uh this right here is why Galactus isn't <laughs> isn't fantastic. Because all it takes is six power. That's it. I mean, I can get the Galactus off. <laughs> they have to play into Nor Dimension. They can only play one card. Uh, I'll, I'll get this just to... There's no way I win this game. I don't have anything to... I don't have anything to back this up is the problem. So uh, we'll just get the Galactus off and have some fun that way. But this is not a winning match. This isn't a deck that gets Galactus on turn... Oh, they, they tried. <laughs> this, is not, this is not a deck that gets Galactus off early, so I don't have Goliath in the deck. To change my underwear. They have a two-power Deadpool. So this is just for the bonus clips. Just so I can say I got Galactus off. But I have nothing... The back it up. I, I have a Nimrod. Maybe we get lucky and they play Sean. So get down the most amount of points. And that is the most amount of points. And it, you know it's an a lot it's a uh Arisham deck, so we know Or I will snap this nerd away. Okay, this is not making the bonus clips. I guess this is just making the, the regular video. <laughs> so, so it was a very weird uh, way to, to for this to play out. But what this, because of the Nord dimension and having the gins, but what this di did actually show is the Jean Grey into Sandman, locking them into playing away, and then we play into a different lane, easily, unimpeded. Galactus is guaranteed to go off. Well, I got scared because of Squirrel Girl, but Galactus is guaranteed to go off. Maybe they had Dr. Doom, so nothing's guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. It's just about, it's as guaranteed as it comes. So Galactus went off. They played an Arishem Sean. Thank you. <laughs> and, and we stayed below the Sean range. And we we pulled this out. I got Galactus to go off. It is very difficult, so I am not trying to hide the fact that getting Galactus to go off, especially in this meta, is super difficult because Galactus has a whopping five power and literally Three cost cards have five power. So by the time you play Galactus, it's it's tough for him to go off, which is why I'm leaning more into the control aspect focused around Jean Grey and Sandman. And then there's also the backup plan with the Venom Carnage Double Destroy with a sprinkle of Ghost Spider for good measure. Okay, so here's the deck once again. You got to see a ton of the different play lines this deck has. It's worth repeating. Galactus is tough for him to go off. That is how the game makers want it to be. They don't want Galactus dominating the meta anymore. Like he once did, it was a crazy time, but those times have ended. So at five power, he is very difficult to go off, but we were actually able to get him to go off. So for now, enjoy some bonus clips. Into Domino, and then do I get the game just conspired. Of course I draw into Galactus right after Central Park. <laughs> uh, I will queue up the next game. So they probably do Blue Marvel here anyway. But I only have one Destroy card is the problem. Yeah, so Blue Marvel and then this might be Gilgamesh. 
So if I had Sean, what I would do is I would play Carnage here. Oh, Sean gets yanked. That would still be enough. I would play Carnage here and Sean over here. I win middle with the single Nimrod. I could pull the Carnage over here. But if this is Gilgamesh, I just eat it. Carnage is... 8, 22, and yeah, Gilgamesh just does me in. But this is Subterranea, so do they have what they need? Let's find out. <laughs> oh. I think it's good that I played... Wow, it is fantastic that I played Jean Grey Middle. Oh, man. Okay, well, we had we had that one in... Gene Gray's gonna slide. <laughs>